Well, watching birds visit your backyard, it can be relaxing, but sometimes they can make a huge mess. There are several specialty products designed to help, and we've enlisted the advice of an expert. Marge Knudsen returns from Wild Birds Unlimited. Good to see you, Marge. Hello. Nice to see Listen, you. Listen, I love the birds out back on my deck, but let's I'm going to be blunt. They poop a lot. <laughs> yeah. Birds can sure poop a lot. So and, what the you, seed. and the yeah. seed. And well, the seed's another thing. Right. Uh -huh. but, so what do you have? Do you have some products to help, uh, help keep those birds clean? Well, for the poop, we have a... <laughs> Um, product called Poop Off, which yes. I didn't happen to bring, but it oh, is, yeah. it's in a little bottle with a brush and you just mm -hmm. squirt it and brush it and it's You really know who tried really that last oh, week? We did at our house. Marge had been telling me about it and I said, we've just got stuff everywhere and she said, because I wanted it for our fence and deck, uh -huh. but you can use it in other applications, yes, right? You can. You, and you can use it in fabric. You can mm -hmm. use it indoors. It's originally designed for um, caged birds. Mm -hmm. And it comes right off the deck or yeah. concrete? Yeah. Or and there was a brush attached to the end of it, uh -huh. so you didn't even have to worry about finding a brush and that mess and hassle. Yeah, really smart poop, idea. You didn't get poop on your hands, though, No, did you? no, Good. it was Good awesome. Brush. It was a great product. Uh, let's talk about feeders. What are okay. we looking at right here? What you're looking at there is a tube feeder that is actually mounted on top of the pole instead of hanging. That way Way the wind isn't going to move it and oh. the seed won't fall out. Uh huh. And I like so, that. Right. So we've got a couple of other options here. Right. On the screen at the moment, Marge, what is this? We have a hopper feeder and mm -hmm. then we have a tray mounted on the pole and under it. And we have those here to right. kind of show us how those go together. Right. I just brought a little feeder, but that can be mounted on top of the um, pole also. And here's and the, tray. the tray. Let's show how the tray works here. It's got yeah. these. Um, Antimicrobial right. trays. It's actually below. got a hole in the center, and we put a flange on with a little mm -hmm. um, screw that will screw it at any height that you want to put it. Mm -hmm. And then the trays just pop out to clean, so yep. it makes it really simple. That's awesome. And these are made um, out of a composite material that's environmentally friendly. That's right. And it holds up well in, in Nebraska weather, it doesn't sure it? It does. It doesn't rot, it mm -hmm. doesn't fade, it's just really a nice. And it still looks natural. That's like it right. still has that wood appearance to it. It's not some crazy. Like, what is that? Yeah. It still works with nature. Right. Let's go on down the line, Marge. Okay, and another way, if you're still hanging your tube feeders, mm -hmm. you can add trays. There's a large or a small tray. <coughs> they just screw into the bottom of the mm -hmm. feeder, and you're good to go. And I like that, where you can just unscrew it then, mm -hmm. take that seed and recycle it if you'd like. That's right. Or the birds can dance around in there and still get it. It's not yeah. all over the ground. That's right. Mm -hmm. and I like these cylinders you guys have with the sunflower, the nuts. Um, yeah. I think there's some raisins in there. There. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the cylinders are another product that are good no mess um, product because mm -hmm. the seed is stuck together with gelatin so the birds can't knock the seed uh, out of the feeders right. like they do some other. Well, they got to gnaw that that's stuff a out neat, of there. That's a neat design that we're looking at right. there, but you brought in a different form. Right. So really we've got all kinds of options depending on aesthetically what you'd like that's to have. That's exactly right. But these are nice too because this dome prevents other critters from getting to the seed. And protects it from the rain as mm -hmm. well. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, another no mess uh, food is suet, mm -hmm. and there are lots of different flavors, and you can pick them out. This is for so summer, easy. there's a no melt kind, mm -hmm. so it doesn't get all sticky and drippy. And you just open this up, you slide this in, and you hang it. That's right. And that's the extent of it. And listen, this bark butter is really easy to, right. to work with. Mm -hmm. You just slap that in some of these feeders that have the holes in them. Right. Um, or you can slap it directly on a tree if mm -hmm. you don't want to d yeah. deal with the feeders. Yeah. Yeah. Are, it comes in a couple different forms. Uh, right. This is the bark butter, and this is too, right? These but this are is more in the, the nuggets? Right. These are little bits little balls, little that bits. are... Um, they're rolled in cornmeal, and you can put them in any, any kind of feeder, and if it falls on the ground, it's not going to grow, and it'll oh, dissolve away. That's old huge. Jim Carpenter invented this stuff, didn't he? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Mine read the back of the... He, he was just reading the label. Yeah. Uh, we have more here. Yeah, there are a lot of different So this is kind formats. of a hybrid between mm -hmm. two of the products we were just talking about. That's right. Um, being able to have this kind. Yeah, and this is an awesome brick for woodpeckers, but it's the same idea where you slide it right in the basket and hang it, and it's mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. But then a couple of other seed options here, Marge. Why did you want to tell us about these today? Well, the No Mess blends are on sale this month. Mm -hmm. They're 10% off, all, all flavors and all sizes. What makes them No Mess? They don't drop any shells, and they don't grow. They don't grow. And, and so <laughs> yeah. what's, the, what's the flavor? What, what what do we um, got? We've got a regular no mess that is um, sunflower hearts, peanut pieces, and shelled milled millet, so mm -hmm. it won't grow. And we have a 
No Mass Plus, which is sunflower hearts, peanut pieces, cherries, cranberries, and Ooh. suet nuggets. What type of birds will we attract with those? Pretty much every Everything. Bird. They all yeah. love that. Huh? Yeah. That's great. And then we have No Mass in a cylinder form, too. Uh, what about hummingbird feeders? Where are we in the season with those? Um, usually around the 10th of August, yeah, we start. Scoot you over so okay. we can see you a little bit better. All right. Okay. Usually about the 10th of August, mm -hmm. we start seeing hummingbirds. So that's when I suggest that you put the feeders out. Uh -huh. So it's coming do they, up. What, do they come and go throughout the year? I thought, that, like in the spring, they appear. Did they disappear for a while and then come back? How does um, that work? Well, some of both. Uh, a lot of them stop as they're migrating northward, and mm -hmm. then they'll stop again as they come southward, mm -hmm. which Just is passing the, through. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> but yep. um, quite a few will nest if mm -hmm. you have the right kind of trees with the tall, down sloping branches with yeah. little forks <clears throat> in the branches. They like to. So Aww. start looking for them bed. again coming up here. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Week, have the feeders out so they right. can fuel up. Anything on sale at the store right now? Oh, we have a sizzling summer sale. Mm -hmm. What's on sale? Summer clearance sale. There's all kinds of things. We have a little bit of Christmas, a lot of summer. We have mm -hmm. feeders. We have houses, all kinds of things on sale. Mm -hmm. and when, sizzling summer sale. When the summer, uh, customers come in to shop the sale, you're asking them to bring donations. Right. Like what? Mm -hmm. And then where will those items go, Marge? Well, we're collecting new socks and underwear mm -hmm. for the um, children at Lydia House so they can go back to school with a new pair yeah. of underwear and socks like we would yeah. when we were going back mm -hmm. to school. And then customers who make those donations, they're going to get something in return right. as well, right? They can get, for each um, set of socks or underwear that's new, they can get 20% off any item in the store that's not on sale. That's great, great Marge. That is great. I mean, you've got a big heart. This isn't the first time you've done this. <laughs> yeah. um, but I know you, you see an, an opportunity there that's uh, right. to help out a wonderful organization in the Lydia House and mm -hmm. all of the families they support throughout the year. And you've got a chance to help in a small way now and then save some money as you're shopping the store there at 108th and Center. Online, it's WBUOmaha.com. Marge writes an informative newsletter, and so you can sign up for that online if you would like. Um, kind of stay in the loop of what's happening at the store. I get the That's newsletter. Right. Good stuff. Thanks, Thank Marge. Thank you, Marge. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. All right, Perry